Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery, and we're back with another really cool combat knife. Uh, like I said yesterday in my video, this whole week I'm going to try and get combat knives in here. And I have a really great combat knife for you. It is a Miltac. Um, something that is not really on YouTube that much. Um, this company has been around for a little while and uh, I'm just excited to bring it to you. I haven't seen this knife in over seven years and um, I pulled it out of the sheath and it's clean as a whistle, sharp, and I'm so excited to bring it to you guys. So uh, this particular model is the CS1 from Miltac, okay? Um, but before I get into the knife, let's get a few things out of the way, yeah? All right, so what's in your pocket, ladies and gentlemen? I got something exciting for you today. I've got an Al Marcier, okay? But this one's a special edition one. This is a Butch Valadin custom conversion switchblade. Now, it's been in storage for so long that when I tried to uh, work the mechanism, the spring popped out. So I've contacted the company and I am going to hopefully see if they could, you know, fix this for me, send it in and have them fix it for me. But this is my carry today, legal, 100%. But as you can see, the scale pops open and it would release the, the, the spring mechanism and then pop the blade out. So hopefully I could work something out with Butch Valadin uh, company and they could fix this for me. If not, maybe I'll ask Nathan Knives if he could figure something out. Don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, I just want to show you this is what's in my pocket. Let me know what's in your pocket, ladies and gentlemen. In the comments below, don't be afraid. I don't care how many times you've told me the same thing. Just write it down. Shoutouts. I got some really great shoutouts. First one is Wandering the Wilderness. Now, this guy is a veteran. And he didn't comment, but he gave me a hint that he was a veteran. I just let him know, hey, man, comment. Let us know where you're, you know, what branch you're from. And he was in the Army. He served in Iraq. I mean, he said he was right out of high school, 17 years old. Man, I appreciate that. I appreciate you. And let's go check out his channel again, okay? Wandering the Wilderness. Um, then we have Cal's Treks and Trails. Snuz Nuz. Wood and Metal Garage. And I just wanted to give this guy some love because he asked me nicely if I could shout him out. Um, give his channel a look. If you like it, subscribe to him. Seemed like nice people. Asked me politely. So I decided, yeah, what the hell? You know, he, he's my, one of my subscribers. I subscribe back to him. I love helping out people. Uh, the next one is Expert Slash. And this is a new channel. He's only got a very few subs. Nicholas Brown. Go give him a check. Donovan 2, one of the other content creators, um, uh, told me about him. Asked me to show him some love. He's got apparently 70 Tops knives. Um, and I want to encourage him to come, keep on coming back and showing these Tops knives. All right. If you're a military or veteran, comment below. Let us know who you are. Let us know what branch you're in. And, and you know, we appreciate your service. We love our citizen soldiers. All right. I think I've got everything out of the way. So let's check out this knife. All right. Let's do a quick look before I give you the specs, man. But this knife is one badass mamma jamma. Seven years and not one ounce of rust on it, man. Just insane. Look at those scales. This is full tang under here. And she is a beautiful flat grind combat beast. Look at the thickness on that. All right. Um, just real quick, the sheath. Made in the USA. And this is a Spec Ops brand. Okay. So this is the CS1, all right? It is a satin uh, blade finish with black G10 handles. It also comes in uh, a black and gray handle, which I have a Tonto version, 
with a black blade and hopefully I'll get to show that to you within the week. Um, the weight is about 11.1 uh, ounces. Blade length is six and a half inches. They make three different styles. This is the largest one that they make. Uh, blade style is a wonderful spear point. I think it's, it's amazing. Plain edge, satin finish. Blade thickness is 0 0.205 inches. Uh, the blade steel uh, is, according to their website, it says Crucible CPM S30V stainless steel. Man, I it's been so long. I don't know if this is um, that steel that I just mentioned or not. There is no markings on the blade other than Miltac. Um, I'm going to take their word for it that this particular version that I bought has this steel. Uh, but I do have a Tonto version that is made by Fox Knives, believe it or not with uh, 690 steel so but i'm gonna you know i'm assuming that this is the cpm uh s30v stainless steel but as you can see it's flawless not one ounce of rust on it after seven years in storage man pretty cool all right so the rockwell hardness is 58 to 60. overall length is a foot 12 inches uh the handle is a cnc machined g10 handle and the sheath is nylon with a kydex insert. All right, now I'm excited to get into the knife now that the specs are out of the way. I mean, just look at this. Just, this is an unbelievable knife. And this one I am gonna take out into the woods. I will be using this for a Fatwood Friday. Um, and I will be taking it out into the woods and seeing what its capabilities are. This is just too nice of a knife not to use. And I'm getting older and I gotta start using these damn things. But uh, there it is. There's that beautiful logo, Miltac. And you got to check out their website, guys. I'll put a link. They've got um, titanium knives. They've got folders. They've got a Bally song. I mean, just pretty amazing uh, company. I'm surprised that they're not more popular. I did do a search on um, YouTube on Miltac knives. Very few knives uh, from that company pops up. So I'm hopefully going to rebreathe some life into this company check out the uh, website and uh you know let me know what you think in the comments about this miltech knife you know look at that generous choil right there it's got three grip option okay can really choke up extremely 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 comfortable you could see that full flat grind over here the um spine is not too sharp but we're gonna find out you know come a fatwood friday you know i'm gonna test it out and see what kind of sparks this thing throws, if any. Okay, let me see if this is sharp. That's pretty rounded off. But uh, I mean, look at that blade. Look at that. Look at that spear point blade. I mean, some people might say it's a drop point, but look at that spear point blade. Look at the lines on that. Gorgeous, just gorgeous, man. I'm salivating right now. It's crazy. Uh, I can't believe I, <laughs> I had this in storage for so long. Anyway. Thank God I'm alive to have them back and show you guys. Uh, it does have a hole for an option for a lanyard, which I want to put there. Like I said, there is there is a couple of ways you could hold this for chopping. You know, this could be for chopping use. You know, regular, normal use. Okay, there is no jimping though, but the, the scales are very, very comfortable and grippy. You know, I don't see anything slipping out of here. And then you could have the choke up use right here, as you can see. Then you could do the reverse, right? High reverse, you know, mid mid normal reverse for stabbing, and then choke up reverse. Oh, phenomenal. Um, I think it's engineered very well. The people at Miltac definitely designed an awesome combat knife, and I am extremely proud to show you guys after so many years in storage. And I hope that. Uh, you know, you guys get on the bandwagon with these Miltecs. Check out their website because I personally think they make some great knives. All right, guys, this is the knife. Let's check out the sheath. Um, I hope that many of you are familiar with the Spec Ops brand. I know that they make a lot of sheaths. They are pricey, but I think for a knife like this, it is worth it. It's got a very generous pouch. So you could put, I don't know, a sharpening stone, survival kit in here, whatever it is that you think that you want, you know? I would definitely use this for all kinds of, of, of purposes and utility, even hunting, skinning. This is, this is an awesome knife. Separate loopholes. 
Uh, there is an option for the mole. Compatibility. Yeah. It's a pretty nice sheath. I don't know if they, this this sheath is pretty old. Pretty old. This knife is pretty old. Um, I don't know if they've both updated it. Um, you know, uh, the specs on the sheath. But uh, yeah, man, this is a great knife, you know? All right, guys. I don't know what else I could tell you more about this knife other than to, uh, you know, go check out their website. And once I get into the woods, I'll make sure I'll do some uh, some filming. Check out my my Almar Sear. Total combat knives right here, as far as I'm concerned. This was specifically made for escape and survival from Almar himself. I'm proud to own one. I actually have two of these. I've had maybe four or five in my life that I've used them. Um, I remember at the World Trade Center, I was pulling up computer tiles with the point of this knife and nothing happened. It's a VG10 blade. And I will do a separate uh, a separate video and review on this knife. All right, guys. So let's recap. Yeah, the shout outs. I got six of them today, man. So wandering the wilderness, cows, treks and trails, snuzz nuzz, wood and metal garage, X for slash and Nicholas Brown. Check them all out. I'll make sure I have everything in the links below. Um, we love our veterans. We love our active military. Comment below if you'd like. We all appreciate you guys. We love our U.S. citizen soldiers. And uh, let's bring awareness, everybody. Um, hashtag 22 and hashtag 22 a day. There are veterans uh, who come back um, and they face a lot of challenges and sometimes they can't cope. Well, there's help, guys. And I'm going to put uh, links up on the screen, uh, websites and uh, phone numbers. Um, please think about what you're doing. Your family loves you. We love you. We want you around. Your family wants you around. So uh, make sure that uh, that you seek help and uh, try not to do anything crazy because we want you around. All right, guys. Um, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. I'm getting, I'm getting new subscribers all the time. I'm also meeting a lot of new content creators. If you think there's a channel I need to check out, let me know in the comments. I'll even share it with everybody. Um, you know, what also we need to do is to share links to different uh, knife vendors out there because there's a lot of them out there that I might not even know about. So let's share it. You know, if you, if you think that there's one that nobody knows about, share, please share it in the comments below. All right, guys. Thank you very much, troops. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, new recruits. I appreciate all you guys. And I hope you all have a great uh, rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.